Raids, the final frontier of gaming. Only the most elite and no-life players can possibly hope to clear such intense content. Well, actually, that's not true at all, and I'm going to prove it. I've assembled a team of 10 players with no experience in raids and also happen to have real lives. Together, we shall demolish everything from the entry-level strike missions all the way through to the ultimate Guild Wars 2 encounter, Harvest Temple Challenge Mode. Welcome to the Guild Wars 2 Boot Camp. Let's do this. It's the Bone Skinner. The Bone Skinner. Let's do this, team. Wait, what are we, uh, what are we, what are we going there? We're down a gamer. I am late, that is true. I'm hard late and it feels bad. I've let the boot camp down and I failed. Um, right, where is everyone though? We need one more juicer. We've got to be in raid mode. Here we go. I love to see it. I shall abdicate my responsibilities to you as leader. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, I'm doing nothing. I'm auto-attacking on this character. I believe in the team. That is, uh, what we do. We believe in the team, gamers. We've got the revs here. We've got the mechs. Maybe we have the mastery now. Who knows? Uh, it's gonna be good. Right, I'm going in. All right, I'm in. Let's go. Hey, hi. Hello. It's time for the bone skinner. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Boom. Prepare to move left. Move. Don't get hit. That's not left. That's right. Okay, fine. That works too. I'm going over. Okay. Okay, move right. Okay, res this, res this player. Okay, get ready to CC. Okay, get ready to CC. Here we go. Go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get ready to move right again. I like it. Mixing it up. That's good. Move left or right. Any direction. What's the charge? Where's oh, no. the play? Where's the play? Where's the play? Big heals now. Dodge. Okay. Healers activate. Do your thing. It's time. It is time, healers, to go. I think we're a bit. This is a bit bad. This is not great. We're in trouble here. <laughs> can try and revive, maybe. If we can restack, it's okay. Use the pet res on the druid. He actually might work in this situation. Yeah, look at that pet res, see? I think this is this is bad though. Keep it up. Try and survive. We need to res the mechanist here. Revive the mechanist. Yeah, we're we're a little dead. You really gotta watch that charge. When the when the boss kind of looks at the edge, <laughs> the charge is coming. Right? The charge is coming. We must Perhaps not get hit. Not the right way. Yeah. Okay, uh let's let's go. And we, you know what? I'm gonna commit to it. We go right. We're not going left. Going left is for suckers. Let's okay. go. Prepare to move right, team. Go. There it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Yes. Kill it. Just kill it. Just kill it. Go, 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 go. Kill. There we go. See, we're warmed up now. We're warmed up. There it is. I love to see it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. There we go. If we can do that basically every time, uh, then, you know, we're in business. We're definitely in business, except even faster uh, and with less dying. It's going to be good. We're on our way. You know, we are on our way to the, you know, the, the, uh, the road of improvement. Okay, I think that's a good warm-up. I actually do want to maybe have another go at getting through um, wing one later on today. But actually, for now, let's go wing two. Let's get in there right now. Uh, and defeat some more bosses. I want to see some new bosses. You know, we're fresh right now. We're ready to go. Let's get in there. We're warmed up after our Bone Skinner uh, run here. It's time for Wing 2. Salvation Pass. Let's go. Easy raids, easy life, easy farm. Getting another clear done. And this is something that we, I will, we actually will dedicate a little bit of time to this, I think, during one of the sessions. I think after we've cleared Wing 3, actually. Uh, we'll get Legendary Armor. Uh, specifically the first collection done because check this out. This is fun. This is really good for us um, The first collection that you do uh, that if you, you know if you look at the legendary armor collection right in collections What you'll notice is that you get a full set of ascended armor for completing it Which is obviously really good in our position for grabbing and you know getting a few more builds set up getting some stuff kind of in the in line where we want it to be right all that kind of stuff so if we just slowly get working on this um while we're pushing through the raids, 
we're in business, right? And that's going to be loads of free gold, essentially. It's very good. Okay, let's do this. It's Sloth. This is going to be a fun fight, by the way, because it has a lot of, uh, I want to say, personal responsibility, right? Like, everyone is going to... No leeches, right? You know, like, this is a leech-free fight. We will not be able to leech. <laughs> hey, glad you're enjoying, uh, Rebel Flux. Nice robe. Yeah, it is. It's soft. It's comfortable. All right, here we go. So we've got to kill out these slublings. The slibs. Let's go. Our comp is quite good for this. That's the good news, actually. I, you know, I'm liking the composition. So you're going to be seeing these. Um, th this is not really a mechanical thing. During the fight, these slublings will continuously spawn. They have very powerful attacks. Uh, specifically, when they hit you, they corrupt your boons. This is obviously quite bad. Because, you know, we like our boons. So, one of the things here is going to be using control effects to actually pull them together and kill them. Right, that's actually very, very important. And actually, this is a good time to talk about preparation. Uh, so before we came to Wing 2 here, a lot of the boot campers had a little read. Uh of the hardstuck.gg sloth assault guide. So we're not going in blind because we're being time efficient, you know? We've got real lives. We can't be like on this boss for 10 hours. We're using the brain, using the resources. It's gonna be good. I can go first room. I like that. That's big. Okay, I think it's about time to get into this. Let's assign some mushrooms and see what happens. Yeah, that's tr <laughs> That's true. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. One more well, thing. Maybe in the future. But but like, ooh, I like that ambition. That's good. You know, maybe fungus joiners. Maybe after the boot camp, it's going into the fungus, and I like that. Let's get into this. Put the number of your mushroom in the chat. So if you're doing first, one, second, two, third, three, four, fourth. Okay, because so we need a three and a four. Who's volunteering? In general, it's going to be uh, DPS doing this as well, of course. Right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We, don't do it well. Yeah, no, we, we don't want, uh, especially not healers. It could be, you know, a Herald would be acceptable or, you know, like a Quickness DPS would be acceptable. But we do not want to have a, a healer doing it, really. Okay, Red is doing three. And let's see, number four is going to be Hummel. Okay, I, well, actually, no, you're not allowed. Um, it's going to be, uh, let's see, it's going to be uh, Victor. Yeah, Victor can do four. Easy. Okay. Let's get into this. Let's do this. I'm ready for the sloth. Let's go. Boom. Okay, don't kill him. Careful. Especially virtuosos. It's really easy to do. Careful. Careful, 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 careful. All right. Hit the boss. Get ready for tantrum. Uh, it's going to be Helga is tanking, but don't worry about it yet. Here comes the tantrum. Get ready to move. Dodge. Res people if they die. Oh, nice. Ooh, oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Guys, we killed him. I, I, <laughs> get the res. That's okay. We can, we can work with that. We can work with that. No, we can work with that. We can work with that. It's fine. I say like, tank, move the boss. So it's Helga. Move it um, just kind of as far along the path, right? Whenever you're tanking, you kind of want to move all the way, right, in the safe zone. There we have our action key. There we go. You can see the action key being dropped over there. That's what we want. It. Flame breath, go behind. I'm tanked. And pull slublings in. Pull slublings in. So if we have a pull, try and grab these mobs. Okay, second mushroom. You have to make the run. So use like a blink to try to get over there. Just get in there. Uh, wait, um, uh, Ma uh, Murad, you, uh, Mew, you have uh, the action key. Oh. Yeah, ooh. Uh, that's not great, but you know what? We can work with that. Keep it up. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not sure we can work with that. Okay, tank is red, so move along. Try to eat, try to always eat one of the central mushrooms, right? So we want to make sure we are always eating kind of one of those, right? Break the defiance bar. Okay, um, ooh, well, yeah, you kind of don't want to put that there. That wants to go to circle, really. But you know what? We, that's okay, too. Tantrums, move, move, move. Third mushroom is enabled. Uh, do we lose our third? Okay, someone eat the third mushroom. Go. Uh, I was thinking... So I can grab the mushroom right while I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, it is a bit weird. Uh, but you got to yeah. embrace it. Okay, uh, eat right <laughs> to the edge. We're in a very weird situation right now. We're going to have to abort the uh, middle strat because... Well, as you can see here... Uh, we're kind of running out of room here. The boss is going to shake very soon. Get ready for the shake and then get ready to try and distort it or dodge around all over the place. Okay, here it comes. Okay, just double dodge this. Double dodge now and you hopefully won't die. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. that ability is quite dangerous. It can be a devastating skill. I mean, we're all dead now. That's okay. It's over for us. Yeah, look, we do not want to do edge strat sloth. You know, that was a, that was a harsh poison there. So, remember, the... 
Uh, think about it like this. Oh, well, I'll try and call where the poisons go. There was a lot going on there, so, you know, we, we're just getting a feel for the fight. But look, 40%, right? First try? Nice. Okay, let's go. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I got fixated as soon as, I, like, I was about to grab the fucking transformer thing, mushroom thingy. Yeah, you can still what eat. What do I do in that situation? You just eat. Anyway, yeah, you just eat. Even if I'm fixated. Yep, yep, yeah, it will just go on someone else, basically, right? Like, okay, if, okay. yeah, because uh, you switch teams, right? So you can just eat the shroom and boom, away you go. Away you go. Poison goes to circle. Poison goes to circle. Um, Lagnet to circle. Run, 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 run. Yeah, and then just come back to us. Yep, yep, yep. Good, 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 good. Yep, heal him up, heal him up, heal him up. Get off the poison. Okay, get ready to break Defiance Bar. Next poison also goes to circle, by the way. Uh, CC and stability. Okay, and then stability. Good. Pull those slublings in. Let's get a mesmer. Get me those mesmer focus balls. Tank move to squiggle approximately. Okay, I'm tank. Nice. Flame breath. Pull those slubs in. Also, virtuosos, just target them and cleave them down. They're really, really dangerous. Get that poison out there. Oh, um, port to us. Can we try and attempt to revive on that player? Oh, no, that's a dead player, unfortunately. Unlucky. It's okay. Yeah, Don't kill red. Don't oh. kill red. Don't kill red. There's going to be shake soon. Try to eat one more. One more and then lead, and then use your heal skill. Okay, dodge. Dodge, 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 dodge. Big cleanses, big heals. Try and get red. Yeah, we killed red, guys. You know, we, we brutalized him. That's unfortunate. Get the res on our revenant as well. Res the revenant. Uh, we have a, a very small safe area here. This is okay. Um, go uh, Stand on the tag. Yeah, stand on the tag. And get reflects up. CC, get ready for stability. Fourth mushroom is going to have to eat immediately. Right? Okay, stability. Okay, fourth mushroom, go. Fourth mushroom, go. Uh, poison goes to heart. Poison goes to heart. Just out heal the flame breath. Just massive heal. Massive heal. Just go all in. Use it all. Use it all. Get back over here. Use distort. Use blink. Whatever you got. Okay, keep going. Big Comni cleanse out. Eat towards the center if you can. Eat towards star. Dodge the shake. Dodge the shake. Big double dodge. Big double dodge. Big double dodge. Get the reses. Get the reses. Oh, no. Get the res. No, it's fine. It's fine. You, you don't have to say oh no every time you die. We love you. We will revive you. Okay, uh, maybe eat one more. You know, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Get back to the group. Heal this player up well. We, yeah, we probably need to eat like a little bit more though. That's okay though. We can work. We can work with this. Okay, get that revive. Tantrum. Dodge. Okay. So tank, just hang around on star. First mushroom. Wait, is our first mushroom still alive actually? Uh, yes. Okay, so first mushroom you're going to have to eat again. Poison goes to kind of like behind where square is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. That's right. First mushroom is up. Okay, go after the shake. Oh, no, you just go for it. Yeah, dodge, 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 dodge. Big cleansers, big cleansers. Get that res, get that res. And then don't kill the slib. Get the re these revives. There's going to be a tantrum. We have to res now. We got to res this. We have to res this. You got to get those players up. Get those revives. Come on, come on. And just eat a lot. Eat a lot right now. Okay, come on. Get that player up. Get that player up. Let's go. Come on, come on. Get him up, get him up. Okay, stack up. Get ready for stability. Break the CC. Get ready for stability. Kill the Look, there's a billion slubbings. Get those slubbings taken out. Eat towards circle. Stability. Let's go. Move into the safe zone. On me. On me. On tag. On tag. On tag. Healers, just go berserk. Use everything you got. Tantrums. Get ready to go. Dodge now. Dodge now. Dodge now. Get this revive. Revive this player. Come on. Let's go. Get that player up. DPS players, kill these slibs. You can stop eating. Okay. Shake. Dodge. 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 Get these revives. Get these revives. Revive that player. Yeah, po yeah you, uh, you're getting it. We, we actually, we got it. We got, we got the poison thing down. I like that. Get that res. Behind the boss for the flamethrower. Oh, come on. We got to get with these F presses. F, 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 F. Yeah, we are dead. That's unfortunate. Good attempt though. 16%. Not too bad. Yeah, so a few things. DPS players, kill these ads. Right, we need these things eliminated. Don't kill our sibling, though. We kind of got a bit screwed over by killing the ads. Also, revive. Uh, in particular, um, this I may have misled you. I saw both of our healers not reviving this time. Um, so, uh, I, to be fair, did say don't do that if you can avoid it. However, sometimes you can't avoid it. Um, if you are a healer, you need to revive. Also, this is also very, very important. Uh, Anvil, try to use abilities when you're dealing with a mechanic. This is brutalizing you uh, and also massively hurting the squad overall and the performance of the squad. Um, 
what's happening is something's happening to you and you do absolutely nothing. This is very bad as a healer. In fact, you are the player that is allowed to do that the least. You must be able to use abilities while doing other things like moving, turning the camera, or doing mechanics. DPS players, you can get away with not hitting the boss all the time. Supports, no. Uh, you must be able to perform this skill. Otherwise, um, you know, you're, you're going to, you know, you're, you're not going to be as effective as you could be, right? You've got to use those skills. Okay. But that was really good. 16%. I think we can actually kill it this try. Uh, and when you're going out for a poison, um, if you're like, oh no, I am low health. Oh no, I don't have a defensive cooldown. Don't go on to the green stuff, right? We lost our beautiful virtuoso um, to that, basically. You don't have to go out all the way, right? You know, you, you can just go, look, I'm going to go out a little bit and drop it. Because we can always adjust our position. But we, you know, we, we have plenty of room. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Th there's something to be said about um, movement. Are you key? You're, you, ha, are, are you strafing or keyboard turning? It looks like keyboard turning. If you are, don't do that um, because that is a lot slower. Um, like wh wh when you're uh, moving, sometimes it's kind of like a weird kind of arc. Right? It doesn't have to be that way. Right click and just spin on a dime. Right? Don't don't do this. When I, I'm i watching you move, it's like this. Right? You've been doing this. Right? Um, don't... Th this is really, really inefficient. Because there, I was watching you kind of look around and where to go. But you were moving like this. Um, this is very, very, very problematic. Um, because that's just... It's slow. Right? You can see how slow the turning speed is here. You can see that um, it's like this rotation compared to this. Right? You were using the right mouse button. So whenever you want to pivot around, this goes for everyone, by the way. This is very important. Whenever you want to pivot, don't do this and walk around a little circle. Right click, and you can uh, you can immediately spin around. And yeah, absolutely, this is a great choice. Um, a great choice here uh, is about face, right? Having about face is really nice. You can see here that I'm using the key now. It allows me to instantaneously change uh, direction, like invert my direction uh, by using a key bind, which is very, very useful. Uh, does that lo this look better to you? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's because I'm using a trackball to play. Wait, 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 what? You're using a trackpad? Trackball. Trackball, Okay. That, that's I've actually never heard of anyone doing that. That is a Giga Chad move. I like that. I I, I switch back to my Razor Mouse. It's because I use it for work as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that that's big. Okay. Right. Let's ray check and let's go. Three, two, one, go. Watch that flame breath. And just reset. Lagnet. Get over it. Stack on us. In, in one brace. This one goes here. And drop that there. That's good. Yep. Okay, it is going to be Anvil tanking. Move it down the path. Just go towards circle. Well, we're actually going to get a CC here. That's, that's fine. So don't move yet. We're going to have a CC. Then you move. Pull Slublings in, guys. We've got Slublings behind us. Pull them in. CC. Get ready with stability. Stability. And then it's going to be Anvil moving down the path towards uh, Star. Keep DPSing everyone. Yeah, that one goes there. Good. Drop that down there. Perfect. Next poison is going towards circle. Second mushroom you can think about eating pretty soon. Good. All right. Um, do, uh, yeah, eat one more, but that's it. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Dodge, double dodge, double dodge, double dodge. Get these reses. Get these reses. Get those revives up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Press F. Press F. Healers do a lot of healing here as well. Keep those slums under control. Keep healing, guys. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Going. Okay. We're restabilized. We're gonna move out of the danger zone. Let's move. Okay. It's sleeping time. Fourth mushroom. Don't eat yet. Poison goes to heart. CC. Get ready on stability. Come back quickly. Good. Stability. Fourth mushroom can eat. Make sure you eat something. Okay. Stack. Stack, stack. Get this revive. Get this revive. Get this revive. Good. Shake. Double dodge. Double dodge. Double dodge. Double dodge. I like the glint there, by the way, Mew. That's big brain. Although maybe not quite as big brain as you thought because you still have 20 burns on you. Uh, yep. <laughs> okay, good. Keep moving along the path. Keep pulling the slumlings in. CC. Okay, all CC. Come on. One more round of stability. Let's make it happen. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Back up out of the poison. CC. Come on a bit more. Poison, drop it anywhere. Stability. Just drop it anywhere. Doesn't matter. And finish it. Come on. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Flame breath. Just dodge this. Dodge, 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 dodge. Don't die. Don't die. Kill. Kill. Destroy the sloth. 
Come on. There we go. Hey, not so bad, right? That was good. We learned that fast. That's a hard one. By the way, that is easily the hardest fight. Um, so... <laughs> That I is actually it. didn't it. want to glint heal. Yeah. I wanted to switch to yeah. Jalus, <laughs> yeah. but it wasn't cooldown. Oh, man, that's fun. That's fun. That is fun. Good job, team. Very fast learning. Um, everyone dodged the tantrums and the shakes very quick. Very, very nice. Poison finishing is good as well. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I am liking that. That is good. Very, very nice. Very nice, actually. Very good. Yeah. And um, we didn't team kill that much either which is also good uh, okay let's move on <laughs> that's a tough one that is the hardest boss by the way so don't worry we can a ah, little bit a uh, little bit of a uh, relaxation now this next event i'm actually not we're just going to go straight into this next part by the way gamers um because this is like um i'm sure you've heard of it right maybe you've seen it on the guide it's a bit infamous right it's a bit of a kind of trash event in a way like a intermission almost uh so we're just gonna go ahead and just get to work uh, i'll explain it as we go we don't need to get into like super complicated um explanations oh fun this is funny actually isn't it because not um this is this was this raid don't glide in yet we'll, we'll actually clear the bandits outside so kill all the bandits outside first this is a fun one this is one of the raids where arena were like oh what if masteries were really important in raids so there are going to be some invisible mobs spawning during this that you can only see if you have um, the New Hawk Stealth Detection Mastery, which is quite funny, actually. Uh, but that is, yeah, that's that's the situation we find ourselves in. Um, yeah, I think some people will have it. Yeah, for sure. We've got some pretty big mastery numbers here, I think. Uh, but <laughs> some pretty big ones. Pretty big ones. But uh, yeah, might want to grab that in future. And of course, for Wing 3, we um, I, this is a bit of a pain. I'm aware of this. If you actually want uh, my advice, by the way, on leveling masteries, there's no better um, encounter than Dragon Stand. Load yourself up on XP boosters, right? So get your XP booster going, like Celebration Booster, Birthday Booster, whatever you got, right? Um, get the XP infusion from the Laurel Vendor. Get food on, because remember, food gives you more XP. Blah, 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 blah. And then just go Dragon Stand. And seriously, I actually did this on the Zero to Hero. I think I got something like... Um... I think I got 10 million XP in one run. Seriously, it was actually ridiculous. Um, like how many of... I think I... No, I got more than that. It was more than 10 million XP. It was like... I managed to like level all of my masteries in one go. It was absolutely insane. It was pretty beautiful. Okay, so I'll tell you the basic premise. I'm not going to go into big deals. So we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, here's the premise. Uh, we've got to defend this cage, marked with the arrow, from bandits. So... Kill adds that spawn. Um, three mini bosses spawn as well, uh, periodically. The first guy, allergic to bees. There are beehives, throw bees at him. Second guy, beat up the dogs. The dogs don't like him. We unleash these dogs. You can see these cages, right? Like this one over here. You interact with that, suppress so F, it releases the dogs. Third boss has got a flamethrower. We set her on fire with her own flamethrower oil. Wow. Insane. So that's basically I'm, the premise. Uh, oh yeah, go oh, yeah. I'm not saying beehives or flame oil. They spawn when the. Yeah, that's correct. Comes in, yeah, they're going to pop up uh, as soon as we get into the encounter. There's kegs of oil uh, that we'll just see, and I'll just put some markers actually. Kegs of oil we'll put on the heart marker. Beehives we can drop them around here, and then well, you know, we just release the dogs. The first boss spawns on arrow. Second boss on circle. Third boss on heart over there. Uh, that's where the third boss is. Um, so. One thing as well, at the start, there's going to be a bunch of snipers. So group one, stay up here and kill all the snipers up here. Group two, immediately drop down and kill all the snipers down there. Honestly, let's get into it. Let's game. Three, two, one, boom. Take out the sniper. Go, go, go. Now, you've also noticed this green bomb as well, I'm sure, right? Yeah, it's back from wing one. So this is actually something that we also have to do. Uh, okay, let's glide down and go to, go to square, guys. Let's go to square and just range everything down. Like, they should just run over to us. Get over here. Everyone stack up and they'll all run to us. Come on, get in here. So, there are going to be times where bandits are actually going to set up mortars. Basically, outside, right? Um, outside of the base. And I've marked star. There's a little bouncy pad over there. We're going to have to send a player to CC a little bandit bombardier who shows up. Uh, and it can actually be anyone, but it needs to be someone with a lot of CC. Um, it might actually be good to send Victor, because uh, you have Supply Crate, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so he, 
He's on it. I like it. So yeah, basically, get a green bomb. And by the way, you don't have to rely on bandits here. There's actually a little bomb. Uh, look at, come, come take a look at this, right? Just go kill that sniper, by the way. You can manually kill this one. Take a look at this, guys. There's a, a bomb thing here. You just press F and you can go ahead and launch yourself or someone else, right? And then outside, you'll see, you'll, you won't miss it. There's a bandit bombardier. Just CC it and away you go. First boss, throw a beehive on it. So pick up a beehive and use the first skill. And that will cover him in bees. Throw, make sure you throw it on him, though, right? You know, it, it's not, a t it's like an AOE. You've got to th actually throw it on the boss. Okay, and there's everyone stack and just kill. Let's go. It, that's, that, yeah, that's, that's really it. Keep killing the ads as well, by the way. Keep pulling them in. So there's, if you look at the minimap right now, there's a crossed swords icon, right? That is a bandit saboteur. It will go to the cage and it's going to drop down a bomb. We need to CC it when that happens. So it's going to get a defiance bar. CC it. You don't have to kill it. Just CC it and then move back. Move back over here. Kill bug. Here's a fun trick, by the way. Uh, we'll do this in the final phase. Throw a beehive on the cage, because that will actually automatically CC all of the saboteurs. We only do that during the final boss, though. This guy is a bit spooky. He's got this conal attack that does very heavy damage, and he also teleports around. So we've got to stay stacked, otherwise he gets in rage of the cage, and we're very, very sad. Nuke that boss down. Let's go. Okay, kill Zane. Come on, let's go. Finish him off. And then immediately we're going back to the middle to clear up ads. We're going immediately back now. Okay, good. Go, 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 go. Clean these up. Blow these up. Nuke them, nuke them, nuke them, nuke them. Okay, guys. Boss is up. Let's go. Throw a keg on the on the boss. And see that fire tornado? Run away from it, right? Do not get hit. It is big bad. Okay, you can drop down now, uh, Anvil, by the way. There's a saboteur, guys. Get ready for the saboteur. We don't have a beehive on the cave. um. So go ahead and CC this. CC it, guys. CC it. It's up. It's up. Get it, get it, get it. Good. And now try and blast down Norella. Just go all out. Pop everything you got. All stability, all DPS. Just nuke it. Just go unhinged. Go full in hindrance. Ignore mortars. Just DPS. All in. All in. Go, 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 go. Okay, there you go. We did it. Yeah. Good job. Nice. Yeah. Well, I designed it, honestly. It wasn't. It was pretty chill. Good job, team. Loot obtained. Yeah, that fight. Quite relaxing, quite chill. Along with a soldier they brought here. Nice. Where were they taken? We did that well though. I think you probably got the no I think we got the achievement, didn't we? Did we get the achievement? We've cleared a path. Fellow, we got the achievement. Gather your people and head through the cave to the east. Got a achievement. Which achievement do you mean? Um they'll tend to your wounds. Go. Yeah, the shield. Did we get the shield? Yes, we did. Yeah, cuz that that's yep. that, that achievement is actually what that achievement says is basically do this encounter, but not badly, uh, essentially. You've got to keep... Basically, every, if the cage takes damage, some of the prisoners in the cage start dying. Uh, we kept all of them alive. No casualties. Nice. Well done, team. Right. Now, this next boss is a bit of a clusterfuck in terms of mechanics, but actually not that bad. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. But anyway, I feel like we haven't had time to catch the breath. How's everyone doing today? Everyone gaming? Blasting? Yeah, I'm, do I'm doing good. <laughs> Same. I'm loving I'm the energy, by the way. I'm seeing the uh, the private chat here. Uh, I saw you guys demoting me to leech rank in the guild as well. That's good. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's high energy. Very high energy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I might have to suddenly go AFK somewhere mm? between 8 and 9, by the way. Yeah. That's okay. That's absolutely fine. We will, if it's mid-pull, that, you know what? That just keeps it exciting. What happens if we have only one healer? Good question. Right? Uh... <laughs> so this is a very basic trash event. You just got to kill all the bandits, right? It's nothing crazy. Kill all the bandits. Onwards. Okay. This is actually one of my favorite fights in the game. Do you know why? Because I got worlds first. Ha ha ha. That's right, gamers. That was, yeah, that's that's right. I played Core Heal Necro. Actual true story. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. So, I will drop a scented food, actually, once we get there. A few more bandits. And we're good to go. So, first of all... There are two things that are very, very good on this fight. Condition cleanse and uh, stability. Very, very good. So again, I think we're actually just going to go ahead and run our very high stability composition. 
So again, with our Revenant on Jalus, and we can have our Virtuosos go ahead and um, have the Stunbreak as well, right? You can go ahead and have the Stability Mantra attached onto that as well. We are going to need something a little bit extra from... Uh, in theory, we could have... Uh, we should take feedback. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, why am I talking about this? Well, so this guy. The interesting thing about this fight... Keep Crate. The interesting thing about this fight is that we are going to need to actually reflect. It's one of the few encounters where you must bring a certain mechanic. So the boss will put up a little shield and start firing out projectiles. These do a lot of damage, so ouch, right off the bat. But in order to break the shield so that the boss becomes vulnerable, we must reflect those projectiles back at him. And here's where things get a little spicy. We also need to not destroy those projectiles. So, um, cusp beans, be careful with your barrier signet, for example, because if you can block them, right? And then they, we won't reflect. It, Hit is, me. is this one of the bosses where you need masteries to, uh, yeah. use these fountains to yeah. uh, you, you can still do it. This is actually one of the more painful masteries to not have, uh, <laughs> but it will be fine. So, basically, uh, what's going to happen here is that Throughout the fight, players are going to get corrupted. And that means you're going to have a little orange circle around you. Uh, and a small green skull over your head. You do very heavy AoE damage to everyone around you and you slowly die. What you need to do is go over to one of these pools to cleanse yourself. Uh, and when you go to a pool, it goes red and can't be used for a while. So I've marked all four of them. And that's because we're going to have to use all of them, right? Like, so player one might go to arrow, player two might go to square, player uh, three might go to uh, heart, player four might go to circle, for example. It doesn't, it doesn't actually matter what order you go in, to be honest. You can, do, but that was an example. Uh, in order to do that, you so see, you can't go to the same one. So when that happens, uh, players move out, go and get cleansed. If you don't know the mastery, you're basically going to get stunned in place um, for a couple of seconds which is obviously pretty bad, right? So in this situation, healers, this is a, a really fun fight for you guys because you're not just stack healing here. When someone moves out, right, with this corruption, you want to be babysitting them. So range healed on them, even follow them with medkit, for example, and just, you know, kind of keep pumping away at them a little bit, right? If they're a little bit on the low side, if they need help, just keep them alive. Keep these corruptions alive as best as you possibly can. That's the, uh, the big move here. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to explain this entire fight, by the way, because there's a lot of phases and a lot of mechanics. I'm going to explain, like, the broad things, and we'll get into the details after we die a little bit. So, sacrifice. Players are randomly going to get teleported to the middle and get a sacrifice mechanic. Um, if we don't break their defiance bar, they become hostile to us. If we don't break their CC bar, <laughs> GG. They're dead, right? Um, they're instantly dead. So, when they get targeted, target them. Big blast on CC, big mowers, big star five. You you know, right? Like, easy, right? Get it done. And then finally, there's weather. There are weather mechanics. So every 20%, different things are going to happen. So phase one, there's a lot of chill. It's icy. Phase two, there's fire and there's tornadoes. So watch out for that. Phase three, it's all slippery and there's storms everywhere, right? And then phase four, it rotates between all of that. But we'll get into that later. Let's go and have a pop of this. Let's see what happens. I will let you say this about the fire phase, by the way. Fire phase, so at 80%, there's going to be a special action hotkey. Oh, yeah, food, actually. There's a special... Okay, healing food. Colony food. Power food. Um, there's going to be a special action hotkey. It's a bit like the sloth one, Right? When you get that action key, move out to the edge, not in the pools. Because uh, it will drop down a dangerous AoE that will cover some space, right? So in fire phase, when it's fiery and there's an action key, you get an icon just like the sloth poison. It looks like the sloth, not the corruption. Move it out in between the pools, right? Not in the middle, at the edge. And also very important, um, if you die, it detonates. So don't die. Okay, team. It is time. I rage check and we go. There's a lot going on there, so don't worry if you don't didn't get it all. It's a complicated fight, but not too bad. Our healers are going to be doing work. All right, let's go. Okay, so here comes the reflect. Reflect. Probably a little bit too late. You got to be quite crispy on the timing there. Okay, dodge. There's the one shot. Oh, 
We survived. Nice. Corruption out. Good. But it's okay, though. We can use another reflect. So we need a backup here. So get ready to backup reflect. And backup now. And also sacrifice. So CC. CC, CC, CC. There we are. Get that player out. Come on. Nice. Dodge the one shot. Yeah, just watch that animation. Get this revive. Get that revive up. Good. See these ice patches? Don't touch them. Dodge that. See, that's the big uh, smash attack. Corruption. Just go to arrow or circle. Don't, yeah, don't touch those ice patches, otherwise you slip over. Go to arrow or circle. Not square, because it's red already. There's the one shot again. Get the revive. Get that res. Good. Yeah, oh, you don't have the mastery. Uh, heal Mew is on these dying to the mastery. And reflect. Yep, yeah, we got it. We got it. Come back as we can. Use sword five or something to get back in. Good. Get ready to CC. Watch the one shot. CC, let's go. All in, all in, and in. Go, 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 go. Corruption has to go to circle. Use your heal skill, Red. Bear in mind it removes condies. Uh, we failed, guys. We failed the CC. And you need to go to circle, Red. You cannot just AFK, though. Wait, Red, what are you doing? I'm going to have this thing. Red, you got to go to circle, dude. I don't have the cleanse mastery. You don't need it. You just get stunned. Go, go, go. Oh. Reflect. Okay, I'm using the turret then. Yeah. I thought it was a timer and it was stunned. So now we have action keys coming through as well. Good. We get the cleanse. Get back into the group. And just, this is really important. Okay, action key on pirate. Move out. Drop it not there. Get rid of CC. Get the CC. All in. Use crowd control. Go. Go, 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 go. More, 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 more. Okay, there we go. We got it. Good. Action key. Heal this player up. Get this revival. Let's go. And then move back to the center. Watch the fire tornadoes. On this phase, by the way, keep jiggling. You take damage if you don't jiggle. So it's jiggle time. Reflect. Yeah, you guys have got this. No problem. That's that's not action key. That is corruption, Anvil. You need to go to square with that. Heal yourself, though. you got to heal yourself. Otherwise, you will get owned. Okay, Red. you got action key. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, Red, Red is kind of dead here. My way. Uh, well... Okay. Oh, boy. Get this revival and then CC. Okay, we... Ooh. Revive and CC. We're, we're looking a little dead here. We're looking a little dead. Let's go ahead and GG. But I think we've got a good, we got a good, you know, we've got a good feel for it. Congratulations. See that? I'm, we've got the fight. I, That's it. Yeah. I'm having a real problem seeing the boss in the middle of all these effects. Is uh, there some kind of setting I can change or is that just how it is? It's kind of how it is, but also options, graphic options, effect LOD on. Tick that on. If you haven't got it on already. It's a little bit Guild Wars 2, though. You know, that's... Uh, yeah, no, that, that was already on. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a Guild Wars 2 classic, I'm afraid. You kind of have to get used to it uh, a little bit. <laughs> okay, so one thing that we... This is a general... By the way, this is not fight-specific. Um, general point of improvement. You must get good at restacking. Um, if you do a mechanic, you need to be back on the boss immediately do something back do something back restack the stack is safe the stack is beautiful it is our little sanctuary uh from all that is evil in the world so get back over here as quick as you can so for example red you died there because you did not get rehealed. You went out to do corruption and kind of wiggled around doing nothing um and then died um do the mechanic Go to the stack, get healed, do the next mechanic. Come back, do the next mechanic. Come back, get rehealed, do the next mechanic. This is so, so important. This goes for everyone as well, right? Um, do something, restack. Do something, restack. Over and over and over again. Like, you must get back and use ability to do it too, right? For example, Rev, you can use phase traversal to port back in, sword five to port back in, all this kind of stuff. You can shift signet back in, soul beast is mobility skills that you can use to leap back in, blades one you can even use mobility to leap back in, right? Yeah, sure, you'll sack some DPS, but fuck it, doesn't matter. Get in there. Also, you might want to take a mending, by the way. I believe you have the, I believe you had the, don't think you had mend, I think you had like the, the shout, I think? Um, uh, take mending. That's a very good heal skill here in this situation. Good stack, and now jiggle around a little bit so you don't get burned. Basically, if you don't, uh, if you move, you take. If you don't move, you take damage. That goes to heart and corruption out. 
No, don't drop that on heart. Okay. Reflect. Okay, we dropped it on heart. That's not ideal. Corruption goes to heart. You're going to have to dodge in. Uh, then dodge out. You'll be fine. You'll live, I believe. Get the hell out. Okay, that, that bomb goes to the edge. And then reflect. Oh, sorry, destroy. Oh, dear, I'm stupid. No, I'm a little tired today. CC, go. We're just, I'm just trolling my own group. Feels good. Get that CC. Come on. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, good. Regroup. Get back to the group. We're doing the thing, actually. We're doing the W key thing. I like it. Get ready to CC me out. Okay. Ah, and I haven't actually explained what happens in this phase yet, by the way. Basically, this phase is the anti-movement phase. When it's rainy, one, you have spreads, so spread, right? But also, if you move too much, every second, reflect, every second you're moving, you'll get a little stack of rain. At 10 stacks, a little slipping man will appear over your head and you'll fall over if you move again. However, I thought about that. We brought a lot of stability, remember? Stability negates this effect, and you can stun break out of it. So if you see someone slipping over, boom, stability. If you see yourself slipping over, boom, stability, right? But in general, try to minimize movement in this phase. Okay, corruption on red, that's going to uh, square. Get that res. So red, you're going to square. Uh, babysit red, by the way. Range heal on red. Okay, good. All right. Now, oh, CC quickly, guys. We got a bit of a semi-bug weird interaction. CC. And then stability now. Big stability. Big stability. Go, go, go. Because this guy, he kicks you, then fears everyone. Okay. Uh, get the res. Get the res. Let's get these reses. Okay, good. Just, oh, boy. We got to reflect that. That's a bit spicy. Yeah, if you reflect that, the boss is a lot more damaged. The boss is pissed now. Okay, corruption is going to uh, heart. Oh, and also, in this final phase, omega ghost spawn. See those giga ghosts? Reflect, reflect, reflect. We can get away with this. We can make this happen. Okay, restack ASAP and bring some big heals here. Oh, that one shot's gonna hurt. Okay, big heals. Okay, uh, oh boy, yeah, this is gonna be bad. Mm. Yeah, if yeah, yeah, watch out for the ghost. Uh, I think this is gonna this is gonna be a reset. We'll just talk about what actually happens here. Uh, it's not too bad, um, but yeah, that AOE is bad. It is yes. If you get that action key, stop what you um stop what you're doing. And then move immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what happens at 40%? Good question. I'll tell you. Um, the boss morphs, he roids out, goes unhinged. And what's going to happen is that all the mechanics are going to rotate. Starting with ice, then fire, then water. Right? Easy. Right? That's basically the gist. It just rotates around. Additionally, the spread happens to everyone. Everyone gets the spread. And also, we have those ghosts. So, the ghosts, if you touch them, you die, right? Uh, that's it. That, <laughs> yeah. So, don't touch the ghosts. And if you get an action key, get the hell out, right? Get out immediately. Um, uh, you, you know, just no, no questions asked. Stop reviving. Get the fuck out. And of course, in that phase, because there's more spreads, it becomes really, really important. Restack. Restack immediately. And here's another thing. Uh, here as well. Here's another thing. Um, you might have noticed that uh, we reflected his big uh, shard attack back onto him. We have to be very careful to not do this, um, because what happens is that for every shard that hits him, he does an extra 10% damage, up to 150% more damage. That includes corruption damage, ticking damage, everything. Um, so it's really, really bad. So be super careful with those reflects and try to avoid it doing that. However, I believe we can kill this, actually. Um, so uh, this try. So let's go ahead and do that again. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and kill this. Corruption out. Here comes the one shot. Look at it. I like how we can just get hit by that. That's good. We're unkillable. We're so good at this game. Get ready to CC. CC, go. Look at this break bar. That's how it should be every time. Regroup. Use the heels. Use the buttons. Good. Very nice. Keep it up, gamers. It'll be another corruption. Move out. It can be square, arrow, or heart. 40% so remember. Go behind the boss this one because he has this kick attack that CCs you. Go behind and get ready to use stability because he's going to do a fear. So stability now. Stability. Go. And then spread because you get feared if you... You can actually dodge that attack, but, you know, stability is nice and cozy, isn't it? Revive those players. Revive those players. Good. Another revive. There's a ghost up. Ghost moving across now. Ghost is coming. See the ghost? Look at it. Look at it. 
Don't touch it. Corruption out to square and reflect. It's the same mechanic. This timing's a bit different. Stability up here as well. And then restack. ASAP. How could you, Lagnik? How could you betray me in this way? Uh, we're dead. Don't. We're dead. We're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Get pirate. Yeah, get pirate. Oh, I'm actually not dead. That's crazy. Save me. Actually, no, no, no. Leave me. You don't need me. Okay. Good. Just restack. Restack. Spread with stability. Healers really try and heal. Big heals now. Everyone use their heal skills. Hold on. Hold on. Just hold. 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 Get back in there. Where's the down state? Um. Oh no. Oh, they actually got the port. Res that. Res that. Watch the storm cloud. Storm cloud. And there's gonna be stability here. Stability. Good. 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 Keep it up, gamers. Spread. Watch the ghost. Watch the ghost. Don't touch that ghost. Get that revive. Revive Victor. Yeah, you did touch the ghost. That's fine. Another ghost. Don't touch it. It's all right. We're fine. Healers, just keep doing your thing. Get ready on reflect. 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 Oh, I think we need backup. Do we need backup? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, we do actually. Because um, uh, Lang is dead and Pirate was down. Res Pirate and Victor. And restack. Anvil, get in there. You got to be in there. Get in there. You're fine. Run your close range. Good. Dodge that. Res Red, I like how Red was direct in the hitbox. He was like, give me all those shards. Spread with stability, if you can. Spread. Corruption, you need to go to uh, Circle, I think. Yeah, it's Circle. Circle, Red. Circle. Get the res. Keep holding. Use your heal skill, Red, as you move through. Heal yourself, my friend. I've used it. I've used it. Okay, poison out. Uh, anvil, just run away. Run away. Run, run, run. Okay, drop it there and then go back. Go back. Good. Good. Come on, gamers. Keep this up. Just get back in there and heal. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 4%. Get the job done. 3%. One more reflect. Get ready. Reflect. Might have to back that up. That was a touch early. That's okay. Maybe do another reflect if you can. Drop another one if you can. If anyone's got it. Nice. We got it. Spread instability. There it is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Or was that the third try? Third try, yeah. Very good, very good. Or something like that, anyway. Very well done, team. Very well done. Made it happen. Lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> Boot campers, well done. That is another wing cleared. And we learned that fast. What I actually, what I really want to point out um, is the following. Um, this wing, in my opinion, is actually... A little harder than wing one overall right especially sloth sloth that can be that can be tough what I want to point out here though is that correct me if I'm wrong here but I felt like you guys found this easier than wing one that's that's kind of what I'm kind of thinking right and what I want to say here is that everyone has got better that's why it feels that way right um we are better at the game now. We have improved a lot over the uh, the past kind of couple of sessions. And just be aware of that, right? Uh, when we go back to wing one, which we might go and do now, actually. Might go ahead and do a, a wing one re-clear. I think that would be a great idea uh, to just go around again. Um, to practice that. Maybe have a little go on wing three as well. Maybe we can have a pop of that if we've got some extra time uh, at the I end. come here for legendary armor. Ah, true, yes. Come and get your water. But very well played, everyone. That's very impressive. Wing two, that can be tricky. And I was very impressed by how quickly everyone picked up the Slothosaur mechanics, actually. It's very commendable. Very impressive, indeed. Very impressive. So well done, everyone. Well done.